Hello and welcome to OBS Setup and Stream, your easy guide to OBS Studio for Crafters. I'm Anthony Minnis from Mixed Media. Well, hopefully you have gained all the knowledge that you need to now go live streaming by watching my series of OBS Studio Setup and Stream videos. So we have done all of the setup now and now what we're going to do is link OBS Studio with Facebook so you can go live streaming. It's a really easy process and I'm going to guide you every single step of the way. If you have any comments or questions, please pop them in the comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. If you've liked the contents of all of these videos in this series, please click on the like button. Subscribe to my channel if you're new and why not click on the notifications button which will allow you to be notified of all brand new content that I upload to my YouTube channel. So let's get into OBS Studio and link OBS to Facebook. So in OBS Studio, click on the settings button there. That will take you into the settings window. Click on the stream tab. OK, and there's lots of different services you can actually stream to. We are going to focus on Facebook Live. Ignore all the stream service settings and then click on get stream key. That will then take you into Facebook. Once you're actually in Facebook, you need to tell it basically where you want to stream to. So what platform? So you can either go on your timeline a page you manage or into a group i'm going to go on my own timeline for the moment then click on the go live the select there at the bottom so just give that a couple of seconds and this window will appear make sure you are on streaming software and there's the key just there we're just going to get rid of all those boxes we don't need those just make sure and double check the where you're actually going to stream to in this case I'm just going to go on only me for the place but normally you would go public or to certain friends and then once you have clicked on that option there you're back to this window and this is the all important part where we are going to grab that stream key so click on the copy and then you want to go back into OBS studio so highlight the row of dots that's in the stream key window, delete it and then copy, paste or control and V. Go apply, click OK. We have now linked OBS Studio with Facebook. Right, just make sure that you put your correct window that you want to start live stream with. In my case, it's the clock. Go back into Facebook and you'll see there the window has now shown up, which means we are connected with Facebook. Click on the go live button. You can add titles if you want, but we are just going to go live. Then in the window there on the bottom left hand corner of the screen, it says live video is starting. You're now live, so you can actually close down this entire browser window now because now OBS Studio is doing all of the hard work for you. So head back into OBS Studio and all of the controls are at your fingertips. And this is why it's a great idea to have a countdown window. So just those couple of seconds can give you time to relax, know what you're going to do next, and then you'll be live to your viewers. So here we go zero and then we faded automatically to our opening window there and then I've clicked on another window to bring up myself in front of that green screen. Now while streaming it's always good practice just have a look at the bottom right hand corner of the OBS interface and you'll see the words drop frames. If that number dramatically goes up then you do have a problem with the connection with OBS Studio and Facebook so I'd recommend that you stop your stream and start again. Right, in this case, I'm going to stop my stream, clicking on the stop stream, just click yes to confirm and we have broken that connection between Facebook. Well, I hope you have found this series of videos really nice and easy to follow. If you have any questions, please pop them in the comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. If you've liked this series and this video, why not click on the like button? Subscribe to my channel if you're new and click on the notifications button. This will allow you to be notified of all brand new content that I upload to my YouTube channel. Well, until I do another video when OBS Studio has some new features, thanks for watching.